What's going on guys, Crafty Rick here and this is the Bottle Cap Bot Challenge. And this is a challenge started by Andy Mecha in which crafters of all skill levels can create a robot built out of bottle caps and lids. I scratch built my robot following Andy's tutorials on his YouTube channel. You should go have a look, I'm sure you'll find something interesting. I will leave a link on the description to both his YouTube channel and Instagram page. It's full of awesome stuff. And now I'll show you how I built this robot. Okay, so we'll begin with a bunch of random bottle caps and lids. I'm also using plastic utensils for the arms that are gonna go with this robot. Some random bits and a tea light. Luckily, the tea light fit perfectly in this bottle cap. This is gonna be the jet propulsion system. And then I just messed around with different configurations for the body of the robot. Once I was happy with how it looked, I began to glue the whole thing. I knew from the beginning I wanted that black lid to be the head of the robot. It kinda looks like a space helmet. I envisioned this robot having utility arms. So I started thinking about putting a flamethrower on one of his arms. And you can follow Andy's tutorials on his YouTube channel. I drilled some holes in the arms and then I used a toothpick for the joints. And please be careful when you're using your tools. I drilled a hole in my finger, you can see it right there. Then I used the bottle cap nozzles as shoulders. I proceeded with the other arm and ended up making a claw gripping thing. I used plastic zip ties to simulate the cooling systems on the robot. I wanted the arms to move so I used a plastic pipe to make that happen. And I added extra details here and there. I attached electrical wiring and guitar string to the arms to give them more detail. Using a different sized zip tie, I designed a backup solar panel. I didn't like the body proportions it had, so I decided to extend the torso. So I used even more lids as spacers. I primed everything in black and used a prescription bottle cap and some clear pipes to make the base for it. The smoke that's coming out of the jet propulsion system is just cotton wool, spray painted with black. And now we're going to town with the rust on this one. I'm using black, orange, and brown paint. It's getting rusty. And now for the paint job, I wanted to go with a yellow construction type of theme. Now that I got the base coat, time for some washes. Mm -hmm. 
looking good now. It's all grimy. I did lose a lot of the rust in the process, but that's okay. I like the way it turned out. So I'm dry brushing and highlights for the metal parts. And there it is, all painted and ready to go. I painted the base and of course I added a construction stripe one of Andy Mecca's iconic staples. Remember, all skill levels are welcome and it is a fun and challenging experience. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you on the next one.